the number of square free integers from 50 to 80. So let's just clarify what a square free integer is. So an integer is um, a number. And for a square free integer, we need an integer that is not divisible by any squares. So for example, 15 um, is divisible by 3, 5, um, 1 and 15, yeah, um, any squares apart from 1. And this is a square free integer because none of these are squares apart from 1, but 1 works. On the other hand, if we have 18, this is 2 times 3 times 3. So this is not square free because 3 times 3 is 9, which is a square. So now that we've just clarified that up, let's just go into it. So we just have to find um, the number of square free inches from 50 to 80. So I'm just going to write them out. See if that is okay. Just bear with me. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm just going to write the squares, which these might be divisible by. So we have 4, 9, um, 16, 25, and 36, and 49, and um, yeah, 64, because the next square is above 80. Right, so... We can immediately cross out 64, because it's divisible by 64. So let's just do this in a different pen. 64. Okay, now what's divisible by 49 here? Um, nothing, because 49 isn't here. But we just have to... Yeah, so that's like that. Um, so <clears throat> what's divisible by 36? We've got 72. So that's that. 25, you've got 50 and 75. 16, well, you have got 48, but that's not here. And um, 64 is already taken. And 80. <clears throat> and then 9. So this will, the small numbers will get more numbers out. So... If you just think 9 times 6 is 54, then you've got 63, 72 already taken, and next one will be 81. And finally, 4. So the smallest number here divisible by 4 is 52. Then go 56, 60, 64, 68, 72, 76, and 80. <clears throat> okay, so now let's just count how many we have left. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's 19 of them left. So the number of square free integers from 50 to 80 would be 19. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.